Jacqueline. All right, Jacqueline, when you get here, the party starts. Well, oh, just a bit of fun of ties, then. I'll be there in about a quarter of an hour, right? Who's there anyway? It's all family there. Aye, all well, the rest of your cousins are here, Jacqueline, and they're all asking for well, you. Well, I'm asking for them, Mary. I can hardly wait to see you, swear to God. Right, listen, I better go, right? I'll phone a taxi, I'll be there in about a quarter of an hour, right? See you then. Right, bye. Hello, taxis. I'm looking for a taxi for three still, please. Right, and where are you going to? I just told you. Sorry, I thought I thought you meant you wanted picked up from Priestel. Priestel's a shit hole, mate. You were? Priestel's a shit tip. What made you think I came for Priestel? You said you wanted a taxi for Priestel. I thought you meant... I bet you did. You were? Mate, I might sound like I come for Priestel, but I don't stay in Priestel, all right? Then where do you stay? Well, you don't believe me? No. You guys want me to prove you it? you want a taxi... I don't need to prove any of you, mate. Stay. Are you wanting a taxi or no? No, I don't want a taxi. I, no, okay. I don't need to prevent you. Hello, taxis. Who's this? Hey, this is the taxis. Put the guy on. What guy? The guy I was just speaking to? Look, there's dozens of guys here who there's no way I can post Shut up! Hello, taxis? Was that just speaking to you about Priest Hill? You're looking for a taxi to Priest Hill? No! Hello, was that just speaking to you about Priest Hill? Hello, was that just speaking to you about Priest Hill? Hello, was that just speaking to you about Priest Hill? Oh, here we go, here we go. Right, you! Right, listen, don't you hang up, you right, listen, right, you want the truth? You want the truth? Aye, I did stay in Priest Hill once, but that was a long time ago, mate, alright? That's when I used to be a junkie, alright? I'm not embarrassed to admit it, I lost three years of my life to heroin. And all five years of methadone program is made to get us off it. I'm not embarrassed to admit it because I'm clean now. Alright, I've left that shit behind and I've left that shit old priest hill behind. I stay in Cessnook now, alright? I stay in Cessnook. I stay in the West End now, mate, alright? So you want a taxi to Cessnook? No, I don't want a taxi for Cessnook. Well, so you can send a wee taxi driver made when you take your pictures. Or is that your way home? Is that your way to priest hill, hen? Is that your way priest hill, you junkie? No, I don't. Hello? Jacqueline, what are you doing still there? Your phone's been engaged for about an hour. Alright, Mary, listen, I couldn't get a taxi, I couldn't get a hold of a taxi, hen. Is there any chance you could pick us up? I can't, Jacqueline. I've been drinking all day. I'm half cut. Gone, eh? Jacqueline, I can't. I'll end up getting done for drink driving. I will get up easy and I'll not priest the black next day anyway. Jacqueline! <sighs> yeah, she will do nicely. What? 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 Don't look at me. Turn around and I'll box you. Look at you, you wee brick one man. Geezer, it's a cracker man. Here. Told you not to look at me. Here. Get my part. Other way, other way! Sorry, mate, that's my gate. You can't use my gate. Go use your own gate. Go and beat it. Why don't you just leave me? I leave you in the eyes, you dumpling. They find your own gate. No, that's becoming a bit of habit, isn't it, mate? See if you try to use one of my gates again, I'll pull your wee beard off, alright? That's it, toddle on. Toddle on. Where are you going? No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Get down. Get down. Climbing a fence like a wing. Get down. Get down. I'll stab my arsehole. I said, I'm killing you in 10 seconds, mate. One dot dot, two dot dot, three dot. <laughs> Look at you go, man. What is this prick? Better not run away, man. No, no. Better not have escaped. Yes. Check the signs of this man, yes. Care plunk. <laughs> brain, brain. That's it, mate. You have a nice wee sleep there, all right? I'm fucking out of here. Can I sleep here, mate? 
Well, right, I can't sleep here. You guys ready to order? Yeah. You just called them guys. But they're no guys. Hiya, can I pay the bill please? Certainly, where are you guys sitting again? Guys? Would you not remember me? She's sitting with that guy out there. Guy, we guy. Exactly, mate! Exactly! Bye. Cheers, guys. Excuse me, mate. Didn't it just happen to see a couple of guys leave here a second ago, did you? Guys? No. Are you sure one had a polka dot dress on or one had fair hair down about there? Didn't I see they guys leave? No. Aye, they left, but they're no... They're no guys! Exactly! What would you say for? Hi, guys. Oh! You're getting shot! I hear I know him. Everything's half price today, so. <laughs> All right, how you doing? Go buy yourself. Ah, oh, good. I can't kind of complain. Oh, the ship's passing the night, eh? <laughs> Aye. That went all right. You bit uncomfortable for hand again, though, wasn't it? Oh, you are joking. I don't think we could do another one of these. Look at that time. It's that time again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can I speak to you for a second? Just got a text for Sarah. She just had a scan, a 3D scan of her baby. That's amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The thing is, she's, she still doesn't know if she's going to have a boy or a lassie because she's just going to wait until the day, right? Mm -hmm. But that means that I don't know what to get her. I don't know, should I get her like blue pyjamas or pink pyjamas? Mm -hmm. So what I was thinking was maybe I could get either a pram or get her money. What do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, pram and <laughs> money. Uh, yeah, a uh, pram. That's what I was thinking. Oh, what else? Oh, I so I phoned the council about the rubbish mm -hmm. and they said there's nothing they can do about it unless we find out who's putting their bags in our bin, there's, there's, there's nothing we can do. Mm -hmm. I says, well, how about if I just look in one of their bin bags and just rip it open and find an address in an envelope and tell you about it? Mm -hmm. And he says, oh, you're not allowed to do that. It's against the law. You just have to catch them in the act. Mm -hmm. How am I meant to do that? Just keep putting the, 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 the bin sheds like a tramp? Do I look like a tramp? Mm -hmm. I look like a tramp? Mm -hmm. What? What? Are you listening to me? Aye. Aye. Oh, and what else? Oh, I so I took a toaster back to the shop, managed to get a refund, right? Mm -hmm. But it was after a whole lot of argy-bargy 
because they says, oh, well, we can't give you a refund mm -hmm. if you've taken your toaster out of the box. You know, how am I supposed to know if it's broken if I can't take it out of the box? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's so stupid. It was just like back and forward like that for about 10 minutes mm -hmm. until like finally they gave us a refund, but it was only because of the queue, mm -hmm. big queue building up. They couldn't care less about me. It's the last time I go in that shop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've not been listening to what I've been saying? No, I was, I was, aye. No, what have I been saying then? I don't start that shit, I was listening. No, no, what have I been saying? All right, uh, you got a text with Sarah and she got a 3D scan. You phoned the council, you got to catch him in the act and you took the toaster back and you got a refund. All right, all right, all right. Oh, is it all right? I don't know, get an apology. I'm sorry. Do you like a cup of tea? No. Fucking... I've been doing a power of sleeping, right? Any time I've been waking up, burning down all night, I've just been like that. Pfft. I right. Back to sleep. Honestly, every odd god sends, man, just pure line on my scratch, I'm like a mad cat. See, when I get like that, I end up having these mad dreams, these pure real dreams end up kind of mind if it actually happened or no and there's this one dream that's been playing on my mind a wee bit there was me my sister and my dad and we were having a party but somehow we are having it up the top of that finishing crane and that's what makes me think it never happened because that can't be done Anyway, and the screws turned up. I clock so I tells everybody to hit the death slide because somehow we had this death slide that went out of the Clyde, right? And I'm like, go, go, go. My turn to go and I'm like, here, watch this. Just stop your tightrope walking at me. Everybody was like, he's bald as brass him. Even the police. And then I fell off. But I can't mind if I fell in or no. And I can't mind if it happened or no. <laughs> I was thinking of phoning my sister to ask her, but she would have thought it was half my nut. So I phoned my dad. Alright, it's Steady. Oh, hello, son. What's the matter? Da. Are we up at the top of that finishing crane all night? Are you on something, son? No, I'm no, I'm just. I'm confused, right? Just waiting over up at the top of that finishing crane or no, were we? Derek. Da, I don't just go on the answer is. Did I fall off like a kind of. Like a tightrope hanging to the Clyde all night. Derek. What? What's happened to you, son? Oh, Dad, I going to know. I just want to know if you were up, what, were on that death slide or no. I could be in trouble with the police right now and you're just... Derek, son. Right, cool, right. Just enough's enough. Just leave it. Bastard when he gave me a straight answer. Will we or will we know up that finishing crane? I suppose we'll never know. You're watching Adventure Call. My name is Falkenhoof. And I will be your guide on your quest. Greetings, Line 6. What is your name, Traveller? Greetings, Ped. Are you ready to begin your quest? <laughs> no, I'm no Ped. You're Ped. What is your name, Traveller? It's Stu. Are you ready to begin your quest? <laughs> you don't remember me, then, you know. Have you been on Adventure Call before, Stu? Ped, it's Stu. Stuart Richmond for school, mind. Oh, Stu. Stu. Greetings. Greetings, old friend. Would you like to begin your quest? Aye, on you go. I'm only wanting to say hello, really. 
You are at the bottom of a well. Right, Pen. There is a... Sorry, Traveller. No, I was just saying, Mad Pen. I can't believe you're on the telly. It was Graham that told us I bumped into him in a horseshoe and I was like, what's Mad Pen up to nowadays? He says you're on the telly doing some damn quit show. I was like, that mad man. How'd you land on your feet anyway, you maddy? There is a... To your east, there's a loose brick in the wall of the well. There sorry, is... sorry, Pen. I didn't mean to embarrass you, mate. It's okay, Traveller, but I must ask you to believe in adventure, otherwise it will not be true. I am... I am Falkenhoof, if you know what I mean. Aye, <laughs> no bother, mate. I'm just going to say hello. Stacey says hello and all, by the way. Right, all the best, Pedro. Maybe catch up with you later, right? Maybe if you're... If you Stacey? Head out of the horse. Stacey, did I... Did... Stacey, did, did I used to... Aye, Stacey. I told her what Graham said, that you've got this quiz show. She's really happy for you, mate. She still really likes you, mate. Really? Aye, I like you a lot, mate. And are you seeing Stacey as... Is she your travelling partner, if you like? No, 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 I'm not going out well, mate, don't worry. Don't oh, worry. It's... Nah, just shagging her now and then, but... Nah, I'm not going out well, so feel free to bat in any time, mate. I see. Okay. Goodbye, traveller. See you, pet. I bat her in just on a Wednesday, all right? Let's take another call. See if you can escape the well. Fucking adult work, right? And people think that makes your head go to pot. But I spot things. I think about things that other people have not got the time for. Like, there was this advert on the telly about four in the morning for one of the CD collections. And the song it was playing was that. I want to know what love is before her. And it had the names of all these other songs coming up, like Sheena Easton, Modern Girl, and Love Bites by Def Leppard, and they were in white. Then I want to know what love is before her popped up, but I was in yellow. And I was like, ah, right, so if the words are in yellow, that means that's the song it's playing, cool. Then the song changed to Crockett's theme by Jan Hammer. And I was like, ah, right, so soon we'll be seeing a wee Jan Hammer, Crockett's theme in yellow. I get it now. Lionel Richie, hello. That was in white. Right, here I go again, white snake. That was in white, I know. Cool. Guess what comes up in yellow? You guessed it. South Cohen is sand by Bill and Carlyle, I was like that. What? 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 Then the song came on. But they mentioned a Jan Hammer. No once. People are like that, I know. Dee Dee, you must be gone brain dead, just sitting about doing fuck all all day. But I must have been the only guy that spotted that man. Welcome back to Adventure Call, where we rejoin Stevie on line two. Right, Falkenhoof. Do you realise, Stevie, that you're on the verge of being the first traveller to find the Black Ruby of Aldisad? Aye, can we just go on, mate, mate? That's half an hour I've been playing this, come on. Very well. As you recall, we are in a marble hallway. In the centre is a statue of Hermes. To the east is a tunnel of no return. Right. And to the west is a maze. Kiss feet of Hermes. You kiss the feet of Hermes. A pair of winged sandals yes! appears next to... Get winged sandals. I told you that. I told you something. I must sandals. warn you again, Stevie, that I cannot receive your instructions until I have finished describing the environment to the viewers at home. They will hurry up then. A pair of winged sandals appear next to the feet of Hermes. What would you like to do? Enter tunnel. Are you sure? Move! You're stalling for time. I the time speed of it, Very well. The tunnel takes you north. As you exit, it vanishes behind you. You now stand before the chasm of fire. To the east is a maze. 
to the north, at the other side of the chasm, is the Black Ruby of Valdesad. Yeah! Jump the chasm! Be careful, the chasm cannot be jumped by mere mortals. Aye, but I'm no a mere mortal. I'm wearing the winged sandals, so just jump. You are not. I'm not what? You're not wearing the winged sandals. I know. You do not have them. I do. They? You do not. Well, where are they? They are next to the feet of Hermes. What are they doing there? I told you to get them. I told you I wanted to wear them. You did not. I did. No, you didn't. No, you did not. You gave me the instructions to get the winged sandals while I was describing the surroundings, no. and I made it clear that... No, no, no. No, mate, that is petty. That is petty. It is not petty. I advise you that I could not receive your instructions until... Will you help me? You actually heard me tell you to get the winged sandals and you left them behind without warning me, just to prove a point. I did warn you. I did warn you. No, look, here's what we're going to do, right? Now, you could enter the maze to return to the marble hallway. Aye, right. And I don't know, 50 quid to my phone bill. No, mate. Here's what's going to happen. Are you listening? Yes. I'm going to jump into that chasm of fire. I'm going to reach the other side. And I'm going to get that black ruby. You will ruby. not. I better, mate. I'm going to get to the other side and I'm going to get that black ruby and I'm going to get my two grand. You will not make it, Traveller. I better, mate. I'm warning you. Jump the chasm. You will need the winged sandals. I've got them. I told you to get them. I've got them. They jump the chasm. Traveller. Jump the chasm! Okay, you jump the chasm. You make a pitiful jump into the flames. No! Nah, you, you burn off me! You're burnt to a cinder. You're dead. No, you're dead! Mate, you're dead! You just cost me two grand. You're a dead man. I'm going to find out what you drink and you're a fu- We're ready to take another caller. My name is Falkenhoof, and I will be your guide on your quest. We need to talk. What about? I want to split up. Split up? What for? I'm fed up. Really fed up. I'm fed up for years. We don't go out, we don't do anything. I don't understand. This is totally out of the blue. I thought we were getting on. What's happened? Nothing's happened. That's what's wrong. I feel like... I feel like I'm... Um, we're no... We're no what? What's wrong? Look, I don't know. I'm talking shite, just forget it. Is everything all right? Hi. Thank you. Um, yeah, I just want to ask this question. Um, I'm quite surprised it hasn't came up during the debate so far, considering it's about war. Um, does the panel think that a person has the right to kill another person? Well, uh, thank you for giving me probably the most difficult question of the night. Uh, and as a difficult question, does someone have the right to take another person's life? Well, the answer to that differs greatly depending on the situation. For example, if you were in a, a kill or be killed situation, the answer is very different than if you were a you know a serial killer. You know, does someone have the right to to kill another person? Now, a few things Excuse you have me, to sorry, cons- sorry, sorry. I suppose I'm not making myself clear here. I'm only asking for a yes or no. Sure, sure. I totally understand, but it is a difficult question and, and it requires an answer. That uh, is- yeah, uh, just a yes or no will suffice. Um- yeah, like I said, I completely understand, but it isn't as simple as a yes or no. You know what you have to answer? How simple do you want it? Yes or no? Well, to, to answer your question, if I may be allowed to answer your question, you're asking me to, you know, does someone have the right to take another person's life? And I'm trying to say, well, it, you know, the answer, it, it differs greatly depending... No, no, depending no, 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 yes or no, yes or no, yes or no, you can't even, can't even answer yes or no. Sure, I can. I completely understand, but it isn't as simple I'm as. Just that. asking for a yes or no. Do you think someone has a right to kill another person? Yes or no? <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> Look, I'm trying to answer you. I'm trying, but you're asking me to give a yes or no. It's very difficult to give a yes or no to that type of question. How is it a difficult question? I'm only asking for a yes or no. I, I know, but it isn't as simple. It's, the answer can't be as black and no, white no, no. as yes or no. Yes or no. Yes or no. Yes or okay, no. Okay. 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 
if you were in the circumstances... Yes or no? <laughs> yes or no? Yes, you can't even answer yes or no. Yes or no? <laughs> what, what do you want me to say? Do you want me to just say yes? Do you want hmm? me to just, oh? just say... Hmm? What? Hmm? Topper, eh? Topper. And it's too late, baby, now it's too late. Is that right, Dina? Is it too late, aye? Check this out. Again. Here, Dina, looks like if there's anybody that's too late around here, it's you. Do you smell vinegar? Excuse me. Is there a toilet in here? You're a toilet. Excuse me. Is there a toilet in here? There is, but it's not working, sorry. All right, thanks. You're a toilet. You're a toilet. Fucking... I was watching GMTV, right? And I thought, right, you, time to get your kit, man. It's a good night, I tell you that, but come on, eight in the morning. Beyond a joke, man. Just ready to switch your thing off. But then this advert came on for some bacteria yogurt thing. And I thought, Aye, that looks nice, that. Bud goes like that. Great tasting new yoghurt from Danone. Fights to restore the natural good bacteria in your system. I was like that. Aye, alright. Goes to switch it off. But then at the end, this wee tune goes like that. Mmm, Danon. I was like that. I didn't hear that, man. Do you know what I mean? Cause it sounded like the talking bird said New Fae Danon But the singing bird said it like Danon What this? Mmm Danon Must have imagined that they don't make mistakes like that, no? So I got myself comfy again Decided I wasn't heading to my scratch until we had this thing sorted out Waited for the adverts to come up again They show until eventually gets to end a loose women pure half one in the afternoon up for twenty four hours practically prop my lids open with matchsticks starting to forget what was up for bingo tunes into it and the bird goes like that great taste in New Yorker fed the known I was like that right cool the known that one's the known, but no for the sucker punch. Bird goes like that. Mmm, Danon. I just went like that. Ha! <laughs>
Hey, huh? Thanks. Thank you. And I hope you know how serious a situation this is. This isn't an official verbal warning, but let me tell you, right now, you are literally walking on very thin ice. No, I'm not. The hotel, oh, the hotel. It was the best part of the holiday. Um, see, when we got there and we saw the reception, we were literally over a moon. But it's a hotel in space, aye? You know what I hate? 110%. I hate 110%, 110%. In fact, picture this. And so, in recognition of your contribution to the company, your, your loyalty, your diligence, we'd like to make you a director. Seriously? Of course, seriously, you've absolutely earned it. This is, oh my God, you don't know how much this means to me, sir. Well, there's nothing to call me sir anymore, these two certainly don't. Uh, of course, sir, I'm sorry. But really, I'll give this 110%. Uh, this company- You'll get what? 110%, this company That's a means- pity. Oh dear. That's a pity. Because one, a person cannot give it any more than a hundred percent by definition, which means you're a bullshitter. Two, I've had you in here before telling me you were going to give a hundred percent, but now that we know that you're a hundred and ten percent is actually only a hundred percent, that means you're a hundred percent is actually only hundred divided by hundred and ten times hundred equals. 91%? And you wouldn't have told me you were going to give a 100% if you don't normally give a 100%. So I normally get less than 91% out of you. Maybe something like 80 odd percent, maybe as little as 70 odd percent for all I know. Which means you're a lazy bastard, so three clear desk pal, because you're fired! <laughs>